uh, what are the best niches to look for clients in this COVID situation? So um, here's the thing to remember, a lot of our students are still getting clients. So COVID has not really affected our industry, except if your clients were like in the travel industry or they were in the like gyms and salons industry, those are the industries. So think about it. What are you not using right now? You're not using hotels, you're not using flights, you're not using a salon, you're not using gyms. Whatever you're not using, are the industries which have been affected so um, the general rule of thumb that anyone would tell you would be to avoid these industries okay so that is that is point number one however i always like to be creative in situations like this because um, maybe i can approach gym owners and give them ideas on how they can start selling right now because they are struggling right now so if you help them now and get, help them get back on their feet they're gonna have uh, you're gonna have a loyal client in them so maybe i would help them come online we are social media presence we are running ads we are doing zoom trainings and one on one coaching calls with their clients and all of that so you can do that with salons you can be a little bit creative in your marketing like you can in your ads you can show how people are getting um, their services done because i see salons have opened up even though i don't go but some people have started going so you can like create a video ad and show how they are taking care of all the sanitary measures and um, invite people in via video ads locally all of the clients because they would have phone numbers they would have email ids so put them all up in a custom audience and um, you know invite those people back in build their trust again uh, with travel and stuff you can actually run offers saying that they can uh, make use of this uh, reservation in the next six months to one year without having any issue and you know they can get a good deal right now and they can use later so what does this tell you that covid has affected things but there's always an opportunity to pivot okay and you should as a marketer as a creative person you should always be thinking of ways to find a solution rather than be scared that oh what will i do now okay so i would say all niches are still open go ahead uh, you know it's a bit more challenging now but that's how you someone was asking before how do i stand out that's how you stand out by the way you creatively think about it because my job is not to give you the solution my job is to help you learn how to think in situations that you can be creative yourself that you will learn to think in a way that will make you stand out from the crowd okay let me know if all of this is making sense um to add to this Zostel is doing a campaign that please book with us right now to help us support our staff and you can use this credit anytime, any place store. See, that's exactly what you should be doing. Um, another one was um, this, um, someone I follow on Instagram who has, I think he, she owns a, a patisserie in Mumbai. I think it's Lake Club. Uh, yeah, so that one. Um, so she had to close the cafe and patisserie um uh, and you know obviously it affected her business but then she pivoted and she pivoted so well she started selling a cookbook a physical cookbook as well as an ebook uh, about the cookbook and that sold really well and she told she told that she was looking for again needing help supporting her staff paying their salary and all of that and then another thing which is so cool that she came up with a cake mix to sell to her subscribers so that people can cook cakes at home, bake cakes at home. And it comes with the mold, it comes with the recipe and the package. So that's what you should be doing. In this day and age, instead of getting scared, we are actually going through a revolution, uh, not just work from home revolution, but a creativity revolution too, in terms of how we market. So we wanna think differently and businesses can still run, businesses will always run. Um, as long as they keep thinking creatively because that's how the economy runs, okay? So that's what you should be doing. 